So these are the new motor nacelles. I have uh, reinforced them uh, using larger fiberglass side plates. The um, aileron here, or flap, is joined to them uh, with some glue and also a, a bolt right there. The um, aileron actually adds a lot of uh, rigidity in them. There's not that much flex in them compared to before. Uh, it also takes quite a lot of uh, load off of the servo, so the servos don't have too much strain on them. When I flick this switch on my transmitter right here, which is normally an idle up switch, or is a flight mode switch on uh, helicopters, flick it. So that goes to slow forward flight. As you can see the flaps are down, which uh, increases the lift quite a lot. And then when I flick it all the way towards me, pulls them all the way up. Now the thing is, I uh, can't seem to get the servos to go all the way up, even though they are capable of the travel. I'm not quite sure why, but the um, I've rotated the motor so that they're vertical. I think I need to do some travel adjustments on the servos, because if, um, if I show you just quickly, I'll unplug the, if I unplug the plane, the servo can actually go back to there and down here. It can go way down there. So it has enough travel, but for some reason it won't do that. So uh, not quite sure what I've done wrong. But anyway, let's move on to the test flights. So this is a test with proper ailerons and larger motor nacelles or pods. Let's see how it goes. It's quite windy today. Here we go. Seems to hover quite nice in this wind actually, apart from pitching back a little. Uh, flick it to 45 degree angle, slow forwards flight. Go. It's flying quite nice actually. These ailerons definitely add lift. They act as flaps I'm guessing, so. The only thing I'm a little worried about at the moment is fast forward flight due to uh, these propellers don't have large enough pitch. They kind of lose lose their speed. They're 10 by 4s I think, or 4.5. I think I need to get some 10 by 5s or maybe 11 by 5s. But I'll do, a <coughs> I'll do a slow transition close up into a hover. See if the higher motor pods help the pitch. Ready? And flick. Still pitches up a little bit. That may be because of the wind. Because the uh, flaps or ailerons are below the wing, it could be causing it to... Actually, no, that will cause it to pitch down. What am I talking about? All right, here we go, another one. Oh god, there's a hover. Uh, I'll show you a transition really, really close. Ready? Go. I think those uh, wobbles are mainly from the wind. I'm going to try a fast forward transition into the wind. Ready? Now, yeah, it needs to fly really, really fast. Back to 45 degree angle. Right, so transition now. See, it's not bad. Oh god, I think 
that's the wind just pushing it about a little. It flies really nice like this actually. <clears throat> Look at that just cruising along. It doesn't use too much power either. Oh, there's a kite. See if a kite can hover. <laughs> Alright, that was a very short flight, but here we go. Coming for transition to land. Seems to work alright. <coughs> I think the uh, tool and the sails definitely add, add a bit more uh, stability in the transition. So yeah, I'm going to do a couple more flights and see how it goes. I don't know if you can see that on the camera, but there's a red kite hovering above me. So we're going to see if we can have a little fun. It's following it, it's following the plane. I need a better zoom on my camera because I'm recording with a GoPro on my head at the moment. Don't think it can really see that far. Bring it a little closer. I'll, I'll try hovering. It's keeping its distance, I think. Oh, it's following it now. Look at that. That's so cool. No, it's going away now. Oh, that was fun. Transitioning to hover now. Look at that. Oh. I don't know what that is. I think it's the wind. Causes it to pitch up quite a lot. I programmed the nacelles to tilt as well, just to see if that adds any more force. I'm going to turn that off actually. Let's see whether that's reducing the pitch. Right, so now, <coughs> the nacelles don't tilt. transition into slow forwards flight. Coming down. Ready? Three, two, one, transition. Oh, that's way better. And again. Again, I can't tell how much of this is wind because it is actually quite windy today. Here we go, transition, now. It's not bad. Transition back. I think this is flying pretty nice actually. Hopefully once I get the better propellers I can do some more fast forward flight testing. 
It flies quite fast just in slow forward flight though. Well, faster than I wanted it to. I wanted it to be quite a floaty plane, but it ended up adding up the weight quite a lot with this wing. Right, here we go, transition. Now. Can't get much better than that really. And land it. Don't know about you, but I'm pretty pleased with this right now. Woo. So I'm probably talking quite a lot because uh, I'm a bit nervous, but hey. Do it a couple more times before my battery runs out. Actually, I've not got very long left. Ready, transition, now. Oh, there goes my timer, see? <laughs> All right, coming for a landing. Into the wind. Transition, now. Stick one more battery in it. Then I better go in because my hands are getting freezing cold out here. Oh. Alright, this is the last flight because it's getting quite chilly out here. Three and a half minutes. Transition, now. Do you reckon I should try some loops? I think I might try a loop. This could go really bad. Ready? Can do it really high. Loop. Oh yes. Did a loop. That's pretty cool. In this uh, slow forwards flight uh, setting, I have to use a lot of rudder in the turns. Because I've got a gyro on the uh, yaw control with the motors. If I just bank into a corner, doesn't turn at all, see that? Look, it's banking, but it's just kind of knife edging. Now I, bring, then I use the rudder to bring it around. It's like flying a helicopter, really. All right, let's do a transition. I like doing transitions. Oh. It's really nice on the uh, hover to forward flight transition but still a bit dodgy on the on the back to hover transition I have to hold full uh, forward elevator when I uh, come into a hover just to hold the nose down. And I think it is nose heavy, so I don't quite know what's going on. It's kind of dodgy this, so I don't like risking new prototype planes, but hey. Loop! Full loop! Ah. <laughs> I'm scary. It loops very slow. I don't know whether I have enough travel on the elevator. But hey, this is not meant for doing aerobatics. It's meant for doing cool things like hovering.
Look at that, perfect on my timer. My timer's beeping as I transition. All right, let's try something new. You ready? Oh God. <laughs> Why did I try and catch that? Oh well. <laughs> That'll be a fix of a little bit of glue. I'd like to thank everyone for watching. Uh, please subscribe to follow more of this plane and goodbye. <laughs>